it is time for an update from us on where we're at with all our products and work and where we're headed. So I'm going to start us off heading into summer 2024. We want you to know that later this summer, we will have all the year seven guides completed. Mm -hmm. Prayerfully, we covet prayers. Lord um, we're, yeah, we can see the end. So consumer math lessons are two to three days a week in year seven. And they're 30 minute lessons. And then after all the research I did this last year for the ADE conference, we have decided to create a third year of practical geometry based on Charlotte Mason's program. So that will be once a week for 30 minutes. And then the final, the fifth day for year seven, students begin high school algebra. So I am working on that. That is algebra part A. That is once a week and it will be 45 minutes. So this is a change we're making from the programs based on all the research we've done of what is expected of students. We want them best equipped to be ready for high school, college, or whatever comes after that. So I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say we've agonized over changing timetables for at least a couple years now. Um, so we have landed on making our, the length of lessons for the algebra and geometry streams 45 minutes. So that first transition begins in seventh grade with the high school algebra once a week lessons. So we wanted to give you a heads up about that for your planning purposes. And then we want our students to continue the three streams into year eight and beyond. But due to us being finite and homeschooling four kids each and being Christians and involved in our churches and friends and all the other things we're doing, um, we're trying to guard against burnout. And so one of the changes is that consumer math for year eight is going to be on the back burner for us. We still plan to do it. We had to think through what to prioritize in the high school algebra and geometry or what we've decided to focus on first. And so later this summer, we will have our year eight. We've mapped it out loosely. We will have a one page guide for those of you who would need that, that you'll be able to reference to keep going using the two resources we're using this year in the year seven consumer math. And we'll probably add that to the important teacher helps folder. We'll be in communication via email for our year seven customers about that resource. Another update we want you to be aware of, of things to look forward to, are that this past fall, I did a ton of research looking at all the programs, and I reread all Charlotte Mason's books and looked at all the PR articles I could find about math. So through all that, that culminated in an upper-level math workshop that I did for the ADE conference. And that video is now ours to own and share. So we'll be putting that up on our website soon with the handout for purchase. So because of all that research, we have changed and modified some plans going forward. So that's what we want to address next here is let you know that video is coming out with a lot more details if you're interested. And then because of that, we are releasing our guides for year eight based on option A in our newly updated scope and sequence document on our website. We will link to that page below and it's in color. It looks completely different from our previous scope and sequence mm -hmm. guides to make sure it's very clear. This is our newest and updated one. So what we want you to know is option a just coming down the pipeline. This is not something that will be available this summer, but for years eight and nine, we are recommending that math be six lessons a week. The algebra and geometry streams, like I mentioned earlier, will be 45 minutes each. Consumer math and personal finance will still be 30. We're recommending that just based on all the research of comparing what's expected today of students compared to Charlotte Mason's time. We're going from a six day week of her schedule to five days. And so this is one option if you're willing to do it. This is what we're planning on doing. You can do the two different streams on the same day. We see that in the program. So that is one option. That's what we're aiming to produce with our guides. It's not what you need to follow, but we want you to be aware that that's coming down the pipeline. And if you go check out that document, I think we have at least 12 options mm -hmm. of possible scope and sequence. And then I created an editable file that you can create a Google sheet copy of and play around with yourself. So there's a lot of new updates there and that's all being informed by that presentation I researched for. And so that will also be available soon. And another thing to keep in mind is that in order to serve our families, the Lord, ourselves, <laughs> you guys, who we love, you guys are the best customers and being patient and gracious with us, we will be releasing our guides only during the summer from now on. Um, on. <laughs> we're no Just, longer going to be stressing every couple months about yes. releasing new guides. <laughs> yes. So we're not going to release chapter by chapter, term by term throughout the school year. That was just a lot of stress to maintain that deadline, to meet the deadline. Yeah. To, um, we just kept having life unexpectedly happen. We don't want you stuck either. Yeah. So 
So we're going to try to do better about maintaining that balance, work-life balance. I know many of you struggle with that too. And just in order for sustainability and a little bit more peaceful homes, we're going to yeah. release the new guides in the summer. So year, our year eight guides will come out in the summer of 2025. Year nine will be 2026 and so on. Yeah, you guys truly are the best customers. We appreciate all the prayers and I feel like we've been lifted up a lot this last year with emails. And uh, we also love typo corrections being sent to us too. So thank you for that. Yeah, we are thankful for you guys and that we get to do this and cover your prayers. Thank you. Thank you so much.